I haven't been out for quite some time camping. I've been watching some some great adventures on YouTube. So I got home, packed my gear up, new tent, more about that later. Looked at the forecast, got about an hour to get up this hill. Just look behind me now. I'm being chased, chased by the rain. Looks like somebody's been here before. That's a, that's a small fire pit. Tree damage. I think what gives it away is the tent. Just left it behind. Rubbish everywhere. Dirty campers. So I've been out, I haven't been camping, but I've been out on a lot of hikes. We're probably around about three and a half weeks now away from the the three locks ultra Tito the Trodler and I are going to be doing that almost 50 mile hike 8,000 foot of climbing so I'm in quite a lot of training as a Tito for that and uh, normally all my focus would be around mile munching but the new tent came through the post recently. I've joined the Lanshan Club. Uh, forecast is absolutely miserable tonight. The paths are overgrown. So, tick heaven. Deer kid flies everywhere. Bad weather, new tent, perfect. I gum that were tough up there. It's so overgrown. I don't know if uh, there's an alternative route up here that people have started to use now but they're like ferns chest high couldn't see any of the path that I'm used to so basically I had to wade through it stopped a couple of seconds back there just to brush the many ticks off my pants I'm gonna have to have a, I'm gonna have to be careful when I get to camp anyway out the long stuff now and heading into the woodland. Up to the top. Look at the views. No finer example of Scottish mist. Right, now to find somewhere to put my tent. Uh, I'm absolutely soaked. I'm basically soaked from the waist down because of all the long grass and the ferns and soaked from the waist up due to sweat. So hot. Oh, I don't like climbing in summer. Anyway, let's see if we can find somewhere to put this land shan up.
tent's up now everything's inside uh, that's what it, uh, it looks like so I'm, I'm a member of the Lanshan Club so this is the Lanshan 3F UL gear this is a 2021 version so this is the longer version um, and it's also got more room inside it's still got a couple of features I think the others have mentioned that it's got the J zip on it which is a bit restrictive I'm one of those that when I've been on long hikes uh, you know swinging your knees out of a out of a J zip or around a, a, a centre pole I get cramp in my thigh so it's a bit it's a bit of a challenge I always end up yelping in pain if you can imagine that anyway nice looking tent goes up very very quickly not dissimilar from my hex peak tp show you around so you can see inside so like i say we've got the the j zip thing uh pegs back nicely you've got some fasteners inside to just to keep the net away this is sold as a four season move this bag a little bit uh, because it's got this this quite high liner inside so it's it's keeping things dry it's keeping the wind out uh, plenty of room a bit of sag inside once i get the thingy the bed closer to this i think there's a little bit a couple of mods i need to do on it just to get things nipped away but once all the zips tied up and all that kind of, uh, zipped up everything will tighten up nicely i'm absolutely certain of it but uh big test tonight I keep I keep losing views. The forecast is uh, the forecast is very very poor tonight, so it'll be a good test for the tent. Fingers crossed, uh, it should be okay. But I'm just going to mess around with it a little bit, see if I can just tighten it up a little bit, get uh, get rid of a little bit of that inner sag, and then um, best get settled down. Or the rain comes which is due any second now just having uh just having my tea now one of these expedition meals they're real good it's chili con carne it's got a good good kick it's uh, one of these large uh, thousand calorie jobs probably a little bit too much for a short climb and hike like this but i actually did plan on going up um up a couple of monroes tonight but the weather the weather defeated me weather outside is pretty miserable at the moment very claggy it's it's uh, drizzly at the moment but there's heavy rain forecasting next couple of hours so i'll be ready for that i'm just relaxing now listening to a podcast tent's good it's uh it's like a smaller version of me x peak tp inside the, the the nest itself is a similar size um and i can imagine that this this lining in it does offer you a lot of wind protection so you know offering um i suppose four season protection um but only time will tell but very light half the weight of my hex peak so from that perspective it's a winner went up very easily <clears throat> no real issues the only real downside is and i think others have mentioned it is there it, there isn't a double zip on it so you can't zip it down from the top um you know that's good for in many many ways not least for just peeping out and seeing what the weather's like without reaching forward to the bottom of the tent um but it also adds op options for ventilation as well and um when it's raining outside and you have to cook inside your tent that increases the heat in the air and obviously potential condensation that said this is easier than the hex peak because the zip at the bottom of the tent is, is reachable whereas the hex peak it's a long way because it's a much bigger tent so very comfortable so far <clears throat> no real issues with it i mean if it stands up to the rain tonight which it should do all should be good right i'm going to finish my tea and then uh, continue to enjoy a drink and listen to my podcast pick this up a bit later just stop raining now for a bit i've just climbed out of my tent it's eight o'clock and uh it's been pouring down for the last sort of 45 minutes still very very murky but the uh the tent seems to be standing up very well i think it's going to be very good actually there's uh, there's enough room in there i've got to just sort out the um 
the uh, the nest sag inside just I can uh, I can buy some attachments for that but um, you can see it's very similar to the TP in um, in the shape and design this front little bit here that's designed to sort of like a let ventilation and that kind of stuff and I'm, I'm assuming there's a way of actually getting that close to the ground to reduce that uh, gap just in case there's snow or driving rain obviously you can pitch the tent out of the wind but very good really um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get snuggled down now I'm probably gonna have an early night I've got a small drink left and um, my podcast's nearly finished so heavy rain coming in the next hour proper heavy rain so we'll see how that copes it's fantastic how the clouds just keep rolling in you know and you've got a view you know you've got a view at one point and then it just so quickly disappears That's Loch Lomond. There's Ben Lomond in the distance, you can't see it. He smells autumnal, I love autumn. I like it when it moves into winter. I don't mind the sun, I enjoy the sun on my skin. But for camping and hiking, look at that now, look at that. Pretty good, eh? Anyway, I'm going to get back in my tent now and settle down. And then I'm going to get to get an early night. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning, good morning. It is quarter past six. Uh, coffee on, need a drink. Not a bad night, it was quite broken. The uh, the heavens absolutely opened. I left, me, um, I left my cup outside. Just as a bit of an experiment to see how much rain actually fell through the night and it were half full this morning, so what like, correlates into millimetres, I've absolutely no idea, but it woke me many times. Uh, I put earplugs in at some point, just so I could get some sleep. But it's filthy outside now, completely surrounded by clag and rain running in. So I'm just going to sit here and relax and have a coffee or two, and then I'll probably pack up in a short while and rave the elements down. But tent performed fantastically well no leaks I can see anything like that even the slugs came in looking for for shelter which is not particularly pleasant but it's quite windy at the moment and um, there's that big gap underneath the flying whilst that lets a lot of wind in and there's very little to no condensation in here uh, the inner certainly keeps it keeps the wind out so it's, that's done its trick but it does mean it flaps a lot around quite a lot because it's not like uh, it doesn't have the mesh. Anyway, water's nearly boiled, so I'm going to have a coffee now. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to get a break in the rain, so I might as well bite the bullet and think about packing up. 10 to 7 now, I shall start to get packed up and then I'll show you what it's like out here.
I'm back uh, back into the woodland but I've absolutely no clue where I am because I just followed, I found a path, a well trodden path for most and just followed that down it's uh, it's going somewhere and it's not going to leave me too far away from where I want to be quite an interesting ascent sorry descent in respect that you can't see where your feet are going because of all the overgrown ferns um, so you're putting your foot down on a stone then you're putting your foot down into a hole it's uh, it's quite precarious but no mishaps Ooh, he says but uh, even though it's pouring down with rain it's beautiful yeah maybe a path marker for some Anyway, we're heading into what looks like a bit of tough mudder country now. So I'll put the camera away for now and just navigate this. So down off the hill and no worse for wear, thank the Lord. So probably about a mile from home now, I'm guessing I've, uh, I'm on a forestry track and I'm pretty much certain that this drops down somewhere between Tarbot and Arica, so not far now. So recap, let's recap. So I set off yesterday, everything packed into a 33 litre rucksack, get me. Got absolutely saturated going up. Uh, put the tent up in the rain, pouring rain. Spent about half an hour picking ticks off my clothing change clothing uh, what else relaxed in the tent for probably about four hours because it poured down and then fell asleep and then it poured down in the night <coughs> which kept me awake for most of the night woke up this morning with slugs on the inside of my tent and a couple trying to get into my backpack packing away this morning I found a tick on my airbed, so I probably spent night with a tick. Fingers crossed that was the only one. Just come down the mountain now. I nearly fell about four times. Soaked through to the skin. Just perfect. <laughs> what a fabulous trip. Really enjoy getting out. See you on the next one, eh? Can't see a bloody thing.